What is the purpose of insulation testing? Insulation testing serves several critical purposes in electrical systems. Detecting insulation degradation, ensuring safety, verifying installation quality, predictive maintenance, compliance with standards. In summary, insulation testing helps maintain system reliability, prevents accidents and ensures compliance with safety standards. What is the recommended minimum insulation resistance for cables based on voltage rating? A common rule of thumb is a minimum of 1 meg ohm for every 1000 volts of cable rating. However, it's best to refer to the manufacturer's specifications or relevant electrical codes for specific values. What is the recommended test duration for insulation testing of power cables using a mega insulation tester? The test duration should be 1 minute. Performing an insulation test on a power cable is essential to ensure its integrity and safety. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to conduct an insulation resistance test. 1. Safety precautions Before beginning any electrical testing, ensure that the power to the cable is switched off and that it is properly isolated from any power sources. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment. PPE, such as insulated gloves and safety glasses, to protect yourself from potential electrical hazards. 2. Equipment Setup Obtain a high voltage insulation resistance tester, also known as a megometer, capable of applying a DC voltage to the cable and measuring the insulation resistance. Ensure that the megometer is properly calibrated and functioning correctly before use. 3. Repair the cable. Clean the surface of the cable insulation to remove any dirt, dust or contaminants that may affect the accuracy of the test. Make sure that the cable is completely dry before performing the insulation resistance test. 4. Connect the test leads. Connect the test leads of the insulation resistance tester to the conductors of the cable under test. The positive, plus, lead should be connected to the conductor and the negative lead should be connected to the cable shield or ground if applicable. 5. Select test voltage. Determine the appropriate test voltage based on the cable's insulation rating and specifications. Typical test voltages range from 500 volts to 5000 volts depending on the cable's voltage rating and insulation type. 6. Perform insulation resistance test. Set the insulation resistance tester to the selected test voltage. Apply the test voltage to the cable and allow sufficient time for the insulation resistance reading to stabilize. Record the insulation resistance value displayed on the megometer. 7. Interpret results. Compare the measured insulation resistance value to the manufacturer's specifications or industry standards for the cable. Insulation resistance values should typically be above a certain threshold, example, 1 megohm, to indicate adequate insulation integrity. Lower insulation resistance values may indicate insulation deterioration, moisture ingress, or other issues that require further investigation. 8. Document and report. Document the test results, including the date, time, test voltage, measured insulation resistance value, and any observations or notes. Report the test results to appropriate stakeholders, such as maintenance personnel, electrical engineers, or management, as necessary. 9. Follow-up actions. Based on the test results, take appropriate corrective actions, such as repairing or replacing damaged cables, sealing cable entry points to prevent moisture ingress, or implementing preventative maintenance measures. 10. Safety checks. After completing the insulation resistance test, ensure that all equipment is properly de-energized, disconnected, and safely stored. Perform any necessary post-test safety checks and verify that the cable and surrounding area are safe for re-energization.
By following these steps, you can effectively conduct an insulation resistance test on power cables to assess their insulation integrity and ensure safe and reliable operation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA.